Hi everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we embark on a thrilling journey to explore the remarkable achievements of the Indian Space Research Organization in three of their most significant lunar missions, Chandrayana-1, Chandrayana-2, and Chandrayaan-3. Before we take off to the moon, let's take a quick look at their journey. The Indian Space Research Organization was established in 1969 and has since made tremendous strides in space exploration. Over the years, it has achieved many milestones, from launching satellites to sending missions to Mars and beyond. Today, we focus on their lunar missions, Chandrayana-1, Chandrayana-2 and Chandrayana-3. Chandrayana-1, launched in October 2008, was India's first lunar mission. Its primary objective was to conduct a detailed study of the moon, including its topography, mineralogy, and distribution of elements. The spacecraft orbited the moon for almost a year and made a significant discovery. It detected water molecules on the moon's surface, a groundbreaking revelation that changed our understanding of Earth's celestial neighbor. Building on the success of Chandrayana-1, this organization launched Chandrayana-2 in July 2019. This ambitious mission comprised an orbiter, a lander called Vikram, and a rover named Pragyan. Chandrayana-2 aimed to explore the moon's South Pole region, a place untouched by previous missions. The South Pole is of particular interest because it is believed to contain water ice, which could be invaluable for future lunar exploration. Chandrayana-2 had the world on the edge of their seats during Vikram's descent to the lunar surface. The soft landing was a challenging feat, and unfortunately, the lander lost communication just moments before touchdown. While Vikram's landing was not entirely successful, and their resolve and spirit were not dampened, the orbiter, still active and functional, continued to send crucial data and images back to Earth. Both Chandrayana-1 and Chandrayana-2 have provided valuable insights into the moon's geology, surface conditions, and its evolution. The data obtained from these missions has been made available to the global scientific community, fostering international collaboration in lunar research. But after failure of Chandrayana-2, they had taken an initiative to launch Chandrayana-3. Chandrayana-3 is a robotic mission that was launched on July 14, 2023. Its main objective is to land a spacecraft on the moon's south pole. The mission also includes a rover that will explore the lunar surface. Why is Chandrayana-3 important? The south pole of the moon is a region that has never been explored before. It is thought to be a potential source of water ice, which could be used to support future human missions to the moon. What are the challenges of Chandrayana-3? One of the biggest challenges of Chandrayana-3 is the landing. The south pole of the moon is a very rugged terrain, and it will be difficult to land the spacecraft safely. Another challenge is the rover. The rover will have to operate in a very harsh environment, and it will need to be able to withstand extreme temperatures and radiation. What are the hopes for Chandrayana-3? The hopes for Chandrayana-3 are high. If the mission is successful, it will be a major achievement for India's space program. It will also open up new possibilities for future exploration of the moon. As we wrap up our journey through Indian Space Research Organization remarkable achievements and the Chandrayana missions, let's take a moment to appreciate the dedication and brilliance of the scientists and engineers who made it all possible. Their efforts have not only propelled India's space program but have contributed significantly to the global scientific community's understanding of the moon. Thank you for joining us on this space odyssey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting journeys through science, technology, and human achievement. Until next time, keep exploring. <laughs>